deep. Ball doesn't lie. Nisley heads back to the line. Kevin Knight, shout out for the cookie, it was delicious. Stump, bump set to Culbertson. High cross, swatted back by Jared Ray. Some partners call line, some partners call cross, high line, high cross. If you're swinging against Jared Ray, you need a higher line and higher cross, because he can jump and he has got long arms. One a piece, locked up. Hand set from Stump. Culbertson swings, Nisley digs it out. Bump set goes tight, up off the hands. Tool from Mason Nisley. Gets creative for that kill. 2-1. That's the skill of a 14-time All-American at Messiah. Every accolade has ever been won by Mason Nisley. Float serve, Culbertson again. High cross. Ray jumps in it. Swinging at Jared Ray is not advised, Luke. That kid is so hyped up, he takes pre-workout before bedtime just to get some extra reps in his sleep. That's the Malort Court way. Kept alive. Ray with no approach. Just stands, jumps, and hits the tee. What a swing. Miss Lee float serves. Culbertson shoots low angle outside the block from Ray. Stump, float serve to Nisley. He gets it back from Ray. Nisley shoots high line, it's a free side out. Jared Ray heading back to serve. Big jump serve. Catches Culbertson high. High line, pokey dig from Nisley. He gets wide. Goes short center, picked up by Stump. Jump set, touched by Ray, but not enough. Stump puts it away for a side out. They trail one to four. Ray rolls up Nisley, he shoots high line again, making it look easy out there. Ray with the one hand stab, dig, Nisley takes the option. That's a point, makes it 5-1. Nisley floats, Culbertson handles, gets it back from Stump. Jared Ray reaches late, keeps it alive with a sliding hand set from Trevor Culbertson putting his partner on the net. He did not hesitate for a moment tossing that cheddar. Stump, short float. Ray picks it up. High over top of the block, Jared Ray puts it away.
Ray, big jump serve. Finds the line, Stump tries to get his hand on it, can't get enough. That's another point, makes it 6-1 here on center court. Ray gets after it again. Stump sets his partner off. Culbertson forces to send a free ball. Miss lead bump set to Ray. Ray, unbothered by the block, puts it away, makes it 7-1 here on center court. Another big jump serve. Colbertson sends a second consecutive free ball. Stump gets up but can't keep it in play. It's another point for Ray and Nisley. Maybe some more swings from our Stump Colbertson duo would help. Bold strategy, Rob, bold strategy. If there are two guys I wouldn't feed all these two are high on the list. Overpass. Like that free ball? Like that free ball. Bump set, Nisley looks it off, short roll. Six in a row now for Nisley and Ray. Ray, back again. Just, Big serve. Just an absolute laser onto the beer tent. I think Jerry Ray's finally old enough to go in the beer tent this year. It's exciting. Is he? He'd probably have to duck to get in though since he's six foot 14. Lines up another jump serve. This time they keep it on their side of the net. Good set. And look at that, they swing, they get a side out. Good ball from Brady Stump. Nisley passes that one, nice high set from Ray, and Nisley just business as usual, puts it away across. Luke, I'm learning something today. I didn't know Mason Nisley was capable of hitting off someone who wasn't Matt Nab. Matt Nab was there with Adam Brocious when they invented volleyball. He did, played at Messiah for 42 years. Did you know that Mason keeps all his trophies at Matt's house? And that's probably because Matt is responsible for them, but not that one. That's a win. 11-1, Nisley and Ray take the first set here on center court. back. The young kids are going to take on the older young kids. Well, grats, all the passion. The excitement. The story. The journey. We all love the game because of these things and so much more. Across the world with different backgrounds, different techniques, different skills and strengths, different cultures. They all work toward a common goal an achievement that can never be taken away. No matter how or when you found the sport, the past has shaped the present, and the legacies and journeys all lead to Holyoke, the birthplace of volleyball and the International Volleyball Hall of Fame, where the milestones and excitement aren't lost to the passage of time. They're captured and celebrated. Where the moments last forever, icons are immortalized, legacies are engraved on the wall. He and collects, he swings, Culbertson makes the dig. 
nobody home, but the net just a bit too high. Yeah, that's a tough one. And then he picked up some nice wood chips on his way down. Maybe that'll help the contact and the ball won't be sliding as much. 1-0, that was a point. Mason rolls that one in. Stump shoots high cross for a side out. I wouldn't describe that. Hit is very flashy, even though he plays for the red flash. That's good. I like that. Trevor back to serve into Jared Ray's platform. Mason just corrects that bad pass. Great set from Nisley there, but it's nice when Jared Ray's window is about 14 feet tall. He could set him on the orange net back there and he'd still be able to hit it. We're gonna have a Jacob LeBou and Jared Ray touch contest later to see who's touching highest in the park. I was gonna say, and you have to pay a dollar to join that contest if you wanna touch either of them. Gotta pay that Wentworth tuition somehow. That's an ace from Jared Ray. He only hits it a little bit harder than Jeremy Ray, who played last night, no relation. I'll tell you what though, they both could be making a run out of championship. Ray. Net tape serve. Stump. He, Mason Nisley has sided out hitting line every ball. Nisley. Stump option ball to the line. Good things are happening when Brady Stump swings right now. This kid can unload on a ball or two. Ray into the scene, keeps alive. Nisley rolls him up. That's, that's just not fair. That's another really good bump set from Mason Nisley. You know, if Jared Ray just passes it above Mason's head, it seems like he's getting a perfect set to the center of the court. It looks like it doesn't matter where the ball is for these two. Passing everything, touching everything, windows are huge. If we have any window salesmen in the house, we're looking for a window sponsor. Ray serves in the seam, Culbertson stabs to keep it alive. Jumbo free ball, Nisley handles it. Ray gives it back. And believe it or not, guys, that is as hard as Mason Nisley can hit. Drops in a roll shot, makes it 3-0 here on the center court. Ray. Chop, jump, serve, ace. That's a point. Side switch. They're up 4-0. Staying in control here in set two. Stump, float serve. Jared Ray cleans his hands. Don't want any wood chips slicing him up. And he's wearing a Rutgers Newark volleyball shirt. Their faucets in the Golden Dome don't even work, so I'm not sure how he knew to clean his hands like that. 
I bet you couldn't wash your hands there either because the bathrooms don't have running water. Stump, bump set. Colbertson high off the block. It's a side out. Serve there. Gives an easy side out to Ray and Nisley. side out. Nisley catches the tape on the jump serve. Free side out. Serve on Jared Ray. Mason Nisley sets it higher than the Rumble Man. Oh, Back flipper. flipper. Another set to Nisley. Off the block of Stump. Stump sets a tight one and Mason Nisley to Stump. Stump off 10. Rolls it to Jared Ray. Terrible pass. Mason Nisley's on the other side. Oh, he what a finish! There was one traditional contact there. It was the one Jerry Ray used to put the ball away. Everything else was uh, a little bit like center court right now. The only chance they had at a dig was if Mason stepped onto their side and tried to play defense too. I think Jerry Ray could still score a 3v1. True. Stump handles that one easily. And off the hands of Nisley. Oh, touch from Stump, not enough. Now, Rob, I have no idea how to play volleyball, but do you think they should start double blocking? I think they should call the official out of the stand and triple block. Or if they're gonna double block, maybe go on each other's shoulders so they can get up near where Jared Ray's touching because that's about the only hope they have. That was totally a net violation. Mason saw the Boom Beach Volleyball post coming, and he just got a little too excited. Stump back at the service line, looking to get something going for his team. Nasty hybrid serve. A sky ball to the beer tent. That's a point. One five. Two. One. Stump and Colbertson are on the board. Another hybrid. This one carries deep. Sends Nisley back to serve again. Nisley with a vicious float serve. Colbertson gets it back. High line shot too wide. It's another point. Makes it 6-1 here on center court. Nisley and Ray remain in control.
Culbertson gets it back from Stump. Ray goes up, blocks, splits his hands. Culbertson uses it, sets the side out. They still trail 1-6. Float serve from Culbertson goes deep there. Jared Ray now back at the line. Ray goes in the scene. Culbertson with a good pass. Bump set from Stump. No one home. Scoop dig from Jared Ray. Set to the stands. It's a side out. Stump and Colbertson hanging around right now. They trail one to six. Stump off speed short serve. Mason puts it over. Colbertson! Buries the overpass and holds the follow through. Absolutely goes OT on Jared Ray. I'll tell you what, most balls that go OT on Jared Ray must leave this atmosphere and go into the stratosphere, so he must have just jumped late. Touche, Rob, touche. This Lee with the bump set. Oh my God! Nobody up on Jared Ray there as he puts that ball away. Miss Lee at the line. Float serve goes just deep to side out. Culbertson with the float serve to Ray. Nisley, super high bump set in the middle, and super high swing out of bounds from Jared Ray. That's the kind of swing that scores in the NBA for Team Freedom. When the block is 13 feet high and you can swing high hands, nobody home for Ray on that one. So I, hope, point. I hope they're not losing without one of their best hitter, hitters. Most of their best hitters are here, Luke. That's true. Colbertson, inspired by Jared Ray's swing, imitates it on his serve and sends it 35 feet out of bounds. Next one to hit the ball with spin gets the point, I bet. Ray hits the top spin. Stump gets it back. Stump high and hard off the block for a side out. Stump now back in the line. He's been rocking a hybrid serve today. Off speed to Nisley. That hybrid was part easy, part really easy. <laughs> Not the kind of hybrid you want out there. He could probably refuel with a tougher serve next time. Speaking of tough serves, the uh, Division Three leader in aces of all time at Messiah, Mason Nisley, decides to float serve. Definitely not a digs all time leader with that effort. Sees the ball going away and just watches it hit the ground. Colbertson back at the line, they trail 3-6. Colbertson serving. Jared Ray, a little overpass, and Brady Stump handles that one. Stump pretty good on third contact here. He's got a nice arm, 
Pretty good jumper, makes it 4-6. Maybe he could get hot up at the net here. Hey, they keep hanging around in this game. We'll have some serious action. Colbertson on Nisley. Nisley shoots short line for a side out. I am not sure Mason has taken a quarter swing yet here on center court. He did that one where he hit the net really hard. Yeah, that's right. So, over one. Jared Ray hitting a jump serve. Brady stump. Oh, 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 oh man. That might have been 33%. He was so nervous he was going to do it again. I'll tell you, he started court. smiling. He was very nervous. He thought about Cork and. Don't hit, the, the net, yeah. don't hit the net, don't hit the net, don't hit the net. We'd be out there fixing it if he had tried. Stump fires long. Nisley catches the line with the jump serve ace. Brady looked a little stumped on what to do there. Nisley back at the line, 8-4 on the board. Kept alive just long enough to give everyone hope, but Good not hustle. long enough to be effective. Good hustle there. Another ace for Nisley, 9-4 on the scoreboard. Stump passes it the wrong direction. Oh, great bump set from heaven. But Stump puts it into the tape. Tough one there. Not what you want to see. Not what you want to see. But it's pretty tough when Asen Nisley is serving. 10-4. Just missed that outside line. Gives Culbertson stump, another lifeline. Nisley, short angle, Culbertson almost had it. Couldn't keep it up in the air long enough though. Another side out. Stump, bump set, Colbertson using the line finder, makes it bounce. Stump hits it over, kept alive by Nisley. Ray lays out for the bump set, Nisley elevates. Puts it to the line, pretty impressive stuff. They are, they are some of the best out of system bumpers I've ever seen. Out of system bumpers was the name of the most recent album I listened to on Spotify, Luke. Nestle <laughs> back to serve. Another rocket from Mason. Culbertson sliding in, kept alive by Stump. Oh gosh. 
Oh, what a way to end it, Jared Ray, leaving a crater on center court. That kid is so excited. He's hoping for a like Mike situation. Touch the ball and get Jared Ray's skill. Let's hear it for that men's pro action on center court one more time. Don't go anywhere, folks. We have a match coming back to center shortly. Don't go anywhere. Dear mainland, aloha. My brother and I hear that most of you only disable your phones when you fly. You call it airplane mode. But maybe you don't have to get on a plane to get away, yeah? Allow my brother to demonstrate. You know what we call this? Kona mode. One life, right? Mahalo. Longboard Island Lager and Big Wave Golden Ale from Kona Brewing.